All right, so what's up, y'all? It's big old. This video, we're gonna install freaking XRDP on Debian 11. So, but basically, what that means is remote desktop for Windows users on Debian 11. Why do you want to do that? You gotta install this shit if you wanna connect from Windows machines to this machine. So, there's other ways to connect to this machine using other types of formats, but I like remote desktop, so that's what I'm gonna use, and that's how I'm gonna set it up on here. There's 65 different ways to set this up, different instructions all over the place. This is the instructions I'm going to use. So basically we're going to install the XRDP. Then we're going to check status on it. We don't have to do any of that shit, but just in case you want to do it, this is how you do it. And then we can add that to the SSL cert group. We'll restart the service. And then allow open the port in the firewall 3389. And that's pretty much it. Oh, my baby's crying. Oh no. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is open up the terminal and you're going to want to do sudo for all these commands, but I don't like doing that. I'm just going to do sudo soon. Ah. Okay. So yeah, don't do what I'm doing. It's not safe. I just don't like typing suit all the time. I'm not just used to doing it this way. So we want to update our system. Oh, it just said upgrade. I want to make sure we get that out of the way. And sorry, my dog's making a lot of noise. She snores. And then once we get that out of the way, we're gonna install the XRDP. So yeah, let's wait for this thing. All right, it's done. Okay, install. Yes, but it's the thing. Now, I'm not gonna check. I usually don't ever check the status of things that I installed, and the reason why is because I just always enable it. So, for example, basically what I did there you could do it this way or you could do it this way but what I ended up doing was whenever you do the system control uh, what was it system control enable dash dash now XRDP it not only does it start the service but it tells the system to make sure that it starts at the next reboot so every time the system reboots it will start that service as well So then we want to add this to that. I usually don't do this, but I'm going to do it this time. Clear the screen. There we go. Now we'll just restart the XRDP. And we've got to enable the firewall. EFW enable or allow. Allow. I think you can also do UFW allow RDP, but uh, UFO UFW is not installed. Hmm. I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna assign this a different IP. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'll keep it the same. I don't know yet. 
but for those that want the UFW you would amp install UFW and that's basically like a modern way of it's like an easy uh, firewall editor thing it's easier than IP tables so I'm not gonna do that unless I have to so what was it 237 let's see if it works So we want X, yes, do not ask me again, yes, username, uh, I think it's that, uh, password, I think it's that, uh, let's see if it works, there it goes, it works, alright, so this is a short video, comments, leave a comment, questions, leave a comment, suggestions, see a comment, uh, please like, share, subscribe, I'm trying to build my channels, I'm doing videos weekly, and uh yeah love you bye please like and subscribe